friends welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss about uh, natural language processing see this is the first video on natural language processing it's part one uh, first let's have an introduction to nlp so this is the simplest equation i can give you that is nlp is equal to nlu plus nlg nlp stands for lang natural language processing nlu natural language understanding and nlg natural language generation for nlg uh, we have videos uh, in our uh, playlist you can check it uh, for the playlist natural language generation contains videos related to nlg See, natural language processing, NLP, is a branch of A that helps computers to understand, interpret, and manipulate human language. Natural language generation, that is NLG, is an important part of NLP. And NLU, that is natural language understanding, is responsible for understanding the content and nlg natural language generation is responsible for generating the content very important nlu is responsible for understanding the content and nlg is responsible for generating the content let's get into the advantages of nlp see most of the companies use nlp to improve the efficiency of documentation processes accuracy of documentation and identify the information from large databases it's very time efficient nlp offers exact answers to the question uh, means it does not offer unnecessary and unwanted information nlp helps computers to communicate with humans in their languages NLP helps users to ask questions about any subject and get a direct response within seconds. These are all the advantages. Now we are getting into the disadvantages of NLP. NLP is unable to adapt to the new domain and it has limited functions. That's why NLP is built for a single and specific task only. NLP is unpredictable. NLP may require more keystrokes nlp may not show context these are all the disadvantages of nlp this diagram you know completely represents the components of nlp nlp consists of nlg natural language generation and nlu natural language understanding uh, let's discuss about nlu natural language understanding Natural language understanding helps the machine to understand and analyze human language by extracting the metadata from content such as concepts, entities, keywords, emotion, relations, and semantic roles. NLU is the process of reading and interpreting the language. It produces non-linguistic outputs from natural language inputs. NLG, natural language generation, acts as a translator that converts the computerized data into natural language representation. It mainly involves text planning, uh, sentence planning, and text realization. NLG is the process of writing or generating language. It produces constructing natural language outputs from non-linguistic inputs. What are all the applications of NLP? One is speech recognition. Uh, we have a separate playlist for speech recognition. Uh, even we have done the implementation of speech recognition using speech recognition package that is Python package, speech recognition package, and even we have how we can do speech recognition in French. That's also those, um, you know, 
all those programs all those implementations are there in the playlist speech recognition introduction to introduction to speech recognition how it works and all those aspects we have discussed and uh, those videos are available in the playlist speech recognition so speech recognition is used for converting spoken utterances into text it is used in applications such as mobile home automation video recovery dictating to microsoft word voice biometrics voice user interface and so on it's used in chatbot implementing the chat chatbot is one of the important applications of nlp it is used by many companies to provide customers chat services information extraction information extraction is one of the most impo important application of nlp it is used for extracting structured information from unstructured or semi-structured machine readable documents natural language understanding nlu it converts a large set of text into more formal representations such as first order logic structures that are easier for the computer programs to manipulate notations of the natural language processing applications of nlp again question answering questions uh, answering focuses on building systems that automatically answer the questions asked by humans in natural language spam um, you know spam detection spam detection is used to, to detect unwanted emails getting to a user's inbox sentiment analysis is another area sentiment analysis is also known as opinion mining it is used on the web to analyze the attitude behavior and emotional state of the sender this application is implemented through a combination of nlp and statistics by assigning the values to the text positive negative or neutral identify the mood of the context whether it is happy sad or angry etc you you are familiar with sentiment analysis for different you know e-commerce sites or you you are you know that machine translation machine translation is used to translate text or speech from one natural language to another natural language that also we can do through nlp spelling correction microsoft corporation provides word processor softwares like ms word powerpoint for the spelling correction so even nlp we can use for spelling correction as well how we will build an nlp pipeline what are all the different steps in all in this nlp pipeline first is sentence segmentation that is the first step sentence segment is the first step for building nlp pipeline it breaks the paragraph into separate sentences that's all if you have 10 sentences in a, into in a paragraph this uh, sentence segmentation break that those 10 sentences into separate in the paragraph next is word tokenization word tokenizer is used to, to break the sentence again into separate words or tokens stemming 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 is used to, to normalize words into its base form or root form for example celebrates celebrated and celebrating all these words are originated with a single root word celebrate for example intelligence intelligent and intelligently all these words are originated with a single root word intelligent it can assume like that intelligent in english the word intelligent do not have any meaning so in stemming they will take like that intelligent but lemmatization is a more accurate process instead of stemming lemmatization is a quite sim it is quite similar to the to stemming it is used to, to group different in uh, different infected forms of words called lemma the main difference between stemming and lemmatization is that it produces the root word which has a meaning in stemming the root word it created may or may not have meaning sometimes see for example intelligent it do not have any meaning but in stemming always the root word 
has a meaning that is the difference for example in lemmatization the word intelligence intelligent and intelligently has a root word intelligent which has meaning now the next step is identifying stop words in english there is a lot of words that appear very frequently like is and the a NLP pipelines will flag these words as stop words. Stop words might be filtered out before doing any statistical analysis. Next is next step is dependency par parsing. Dependency parsing is used to, to find that how all the words in the sentence are related to each other. Next step is POS tags. POS stands for parts of speech, that is parts of speech tags, which includes, you know, noun, verb, adverb, and adjective. It indicates that how a word functions with its meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence. A word has one or more parts of speech based on the context in which it is used. So that is known as POS tags. Named entity recognition, NER. Named entity recognition is the process of detecting the named entities such as person name, movie name, organization name, or location that we call it as named entity recognition. That is the next process. Next and the final one is the chunking. Chunking is used to, to collect the individual piece of information and grouping them it into bigger pieces of sentences. That is the last process. Now we are getting into the different phases of NLP. First one is lexical analysis. The first phase of NLP is the lexical analysis. This phase scans the source code as a stream of characters and converts it into meaningful lexemes. It divides the whole text into paragraphs, sentences, and words. Second one, syntactic analysis or parsing. Syntactic analysis is used to check grammar, word arrangements, and shows the relationship among the words. Next is semantic analysis. Semantic analysis is concerned with the meaning representation. It mainly focuses on the literal meaning of words, phrases, and sentences. That is semantic analysis. Next is discourse integration. Discourse integration depends upon the sentences that precedes it and also invokes the meaning of the sentences that follows it. Pragmatic analysis is the fifth and last phase of NLP and it is the important one. It helps you to discover the intended effect by applying a set of rules that characterize the cooperative dialogues. That is pragmatic analysis. See, the most common NLP libraries we use are Scikit-learn. It provides a wide range of algorithms for building machine learning models in Python. Natural Language Toolkit, NLTK. NLTK is a complete toolkit for all NLP techniques. Pattern, it's a web mining module for NLP and machine learning. So that's all the introduction to NLP. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot.